Hey traders, hope everyone's good. We're going to run over a quick tutorial today about how to overlay specific studies onto your DOM without it messing everything up. Okay, so we're, the main things you're going to want to lay over your DOM are things like value area highs, value area lows, previous day high, the previous day open, the previous day close. We've got yesterday's POC here. The previous week high, we're going to show you if you want to just uh, highlight the actual uh, price area as well or the value scale. Okay, the previous day lows down here, previous week close, previous week open. We'll scroll down to show you this if it eventually can get there. It shows you how bullish a week ES has had and the previous week low. Okay. Now, to get this, this display on your DOM, this will work automatically. So week to week, it basically updates itself. Same as the daily open high low close. And we're going to run through as well uh, how to get this all configured. Okay. Now, in order so it doesn't mess up your DOM, you've probably overlaid some stuff in the past. You can get creative with these overlays. If you want to be smart about it, you can pretty much overlay anything you want. The initial balance levels. You can also overlay specific VWAPs or anchor VWAPs. It just really depends on what you fancy, right? So this is two blank charts that we've got here that you're seeing. The market is currently closed, so nothing is moving. Okay. So you need a blank chart. This is a blank chart, a five minute chart here of, of, uh, of ES that you're seeing. Okay. Um, and what you essentially need to do is you need to have a blank chart up. You need one specific chart to reference the studies. So the studies that I'm using for this, so if you go to analysis studies, the three studies I've got here, is higher low for time periods. This is in essence what you use for the overnight high and overnight low. It doesn't show on the current chart on the DOM because the market is closed and essentially as soon as the market closes when it opens it will basically give you no a new overnight high and overnight low okay so that's what's used for the for the overnight high and overnight low the daily open high low close is you know pretty straightforward um the daily open high low close will tell you what the previous day high the previous day low the previous day close and the previous day open was and you can then have that shown on your on your dom Okay, I have this shown up here as previous week levels. And for that, you use the period, open, high, low, close, variable period uh, study. Okay. Now, these are pretty straightforward. These specific settings that you go into, I'm not customized them massively. But the main meat and potatoes to get this overlaid onto your actual DOM is you want to have uh, the label column marked in the subgraph settings. So this here. This is going to be your friend. So go through all of these, adjust the short names that you want. Okay, so you can adjust the colors, do whatever you want for the cosmetics. It's completely up to yourself. But I've just named them stuff. It's extremely obvious. So when I look at the specific chart, okay, so you want to go through that. Make sure that you're using transparent text with alignment. If you don't want there to be tons of lines going through your DOM, you just want to see some writing. That's personally what I prefer, less cluttered. Uh, and I actually I'm there to watch the prints. It just allows me to see uh, and key inflection levels are coming up to unless in case I'm missing them. Okay. So transparent text with alignment. And if you want to then color the value label, you can. You can tick this box and it'll color the value label. Okay. So that's how you specifically set all of that up. You can adjust the colors. Okay. So these are the three main studies you're going to be using. And then when you, once you've got all of that set up, you need to, I mean, if you don't, if you don't want to have a label column, you don't need one. I just think it's a little bit nicer to use a label column to actually specifically show you things like previous day high comes up, you know, it's extremely obvious. And this is just a variation to show you a previous week high if you want to actually highlight the DOM uh, and the price scale. Okay. So. You need to make sure you've got the label column. So to do that, you go to trade and then go to customize uh, chart trade columns. Okay. Now label column will be down at the bottom. You can add that in and then put it whatever you want. Make sure and add it and then click apply and okay. And then once you've got the label column, you need to go into your specific studies on the DOM itself and you need to go to study price overlay. 
okay when you actually go into your study price overlay uh, this is what will come up okay it will ask you do you want to select now the chart region for this is extremely important if you don't overlay the chart region properly it will basically just screw up your dom and mess up everything so make sure and set this to one i think it's set at two or three is standard so make sure and set it to one uh, and then you need to go into here and need to reference a specific chart if you've got tons of them up you can normally check it by the little number so number one um and then that will correspond to what's on the top of your chart or if you know the minutes you can click on it so if you click on that and then you need to go and specifically select a study you want to overlay so we've only got three in this case so that's what you'd overlay now when you're overlaying this it will automatically by default use uh, the default subgraph settings or colors and stuff that you're using on the main study on the reference chart if you want to adjust that go into this uh, these settings here with use subgraph settings set this, set all this to no pretty much which means when you go into this you can insert your own colors okay and if you want the value label scale as previously mentioned you want to click this box and that will basically color the dom for the specific color that you want right like the actual value label scale if you just want to see the writing just of name label make sure it's a label column sometimes it won't copy this across exactly so you need to go in and change your short name for this okay um and then when that's done you then click okay and apply and then you need to go in and overlay this three times i would advise you to not go and just duplicate it because it tends to go a bit you know ski with so go into fresh study price overlay each time this this dude and then basically find your specific studies that you want uh and then you know do the thing again you know study to overlay this the same same setup display your last week levels adjust all this to know the chart region and then go and do your thing with the colors okay and you can do this for any specific chart that you want but the key thing is the label column and um the fact that you're going to overlay it all in the chart region correctly okay so the label column and chart region now if you dis if you actually f find that your dom is like crazy ski whiff after it and it's all out of, out of sorts if you right click on this and go to auto scale okay this is a great great uh, little tip you have here the auto scale the chart slash dom will basically put it all back into sync if it does but it still doesn't help you if you've got the chart region set to two okay so this has been you know a relatively quick one uh tutorial for this is i've got a lot of people that are messaging and asking questions about how to do this um but it'd be interesting to see what you guys are thinking of overlaying on here i mean my stuff that overlay is pretty straightforward in terms of inflection levels but get creative with it and if you've got any cool ideas of what you're looking to overlay make sure and let us know okay so hope everyone has a great weekend uh, and we'll see you guys next week. Okay, peace.